Hi guys, today we are in Patani and we will do Zohar prayer in Masjid Kersik. Masjid Kersik official name is Masjid Sultan Mazafar Shah. Masjid Kersik was built during the reign of Sultan Muzaffar Shah in 16th century. After that, the masjid was regarded as the official masjid for the kingdom of Malay Patani Darussalam. The masjid is not only a place for pray, but also became the Islamic study center. Masjid Kersik is historic as it witnessed the rise and fall of Patani Raya which covered the Malay or Muslim provinces including Patani, Yala, Satun, and Naratiwat which originated from the ancient kingdom of Langkasuka. It also saw how Kelantan, Terengganu, Kedah, and Perlis were conquered by Siam Kingdom. But after the Siam Kingdom clashed with with the British, the four states were returned to the British in 1st Majid in Southeast Asia that was built using red brick that was arranged and glued by a mixture of shells with black white rice which is pounded and then mixed with white egg mixture. This method is one of the local Malay methods at past. This is the replica of Paya Tani Cannon. The original Taya Pani Cannon is the largest cannon ever cast in Thailand, measuring 9 feet long and made of brass. The cannon was believed to be cast in the early 17th century by a Chinese craftsman by the name of Tok Kayan, then ruler of Sultanate of Patani, Bajabiru, ordered the construction of the artillery in response to rumors of a forthcoming attack from Siam. Three cannons were cast, two siege guns known as Seri Patani or Praya Tani and Seri Nagara and a smaller one named Mahalela. After the fall of Ayutthaya Empire to the Burmese in 1767, the Sultanate of Patani renounced its tributary status to Siam and declared its complete independence. 18 years later, Thai army invaded and conquered Patani. The Seri Patani and Seri Negara were ordered to be sent to Bangkok and, and, now, and now placed in front of Defense Ministry in Bangkok for years. The replica cannon was cast by our artisans of the fine arts the department to be presented to the people of Patani in place on the real one which they had asked for but was rejected by the government on the ground that it was 
a national property. When the Raptica cannon arrived in Patani from Nakon Patam on June 2013, it was greeted with a warm welcome by some and with disappointment from others. Nine days after the replica of Praia Tani cannon was installed in Patani, it was exploded and tore into two pieces. The concrete block on which the replica cannon was was the emplaced was also badly shattered by the powerful blast. After visiting and playing at Masjid Kersik, we went to eat sate in the nearby restaurant. The sate and rujak flavor is a little bit similar to Indonesian taste and it is delicious. Before riding back to our home, we went to see Central Pantani Masjid that is nearby to the restaurant. We don't spend too long in here guys, maybe we will be back in the future. See you guys, bye!